Hi everybody and welcome back to Lost Genre Reddit Stories. A quick info before we begin. Today's video has two stories and both of them have updates. Now let's get started with the first one. This post is from the subreddit Relationships and it's by user throwaway and some numbers. I, 24 female, caught my boyfriend, 25 male, of 3 years, in a lie. Unsure of where to go from here. Hey relationships, this is a throwaway but I am a long time lurker, sometimes a commenter. Please help me with this problem. I have been dating Ryan for 3 years now and we have lived together for 8 months. He is wonderful, loving, thoughtful and supportive. He is an amazing partner. Our relationship has been amazing thus far. We met at work 5 years ago, became friends 4 years ago and began a dating relationship 3 years ago. Early on in our relationship, we were on the subject of past relationships. Neither of us are jealous people and have no issues discussing such things. The topic came up because I have an abusive ex that caused a lot of issues for me, which is something most people in my life know about. This includes Ryan and my other co-workers or friends, as my ex was not subtle in his emotional abuse and made himself known around my job. Anyway, during this conversation, Ryan tells me about his first major relationship. He was 20 or 21 years old, dated for a year, lost his virginity to her and was his first I love you and all that jazz. He told me her name was Lila, early 20s female, and that he met her as a child due to their mothers being good friends. He explained that they broke up after he was arrested for a DUI right after he turned 21 as Lila and her mother were unimpressed with his behavior. He described it as his first heartbreak. I would like to mention here that I did not react particularly positively or negatively to this information. It was simply a part of his life. We had no further discussion on the matter. Over the course of our relationship, both of us mentioned her casually if the subject came up. No big deal, thought nothing of it. However, recently, Lila got a job with some of our mutual friends. While visiting one day, I recognized her immediately. I laughed at the coincidence and mentioned to my friends that she was Ryan's ex-girlfriend. I obviously told Ryan that I had met her and that our friends and I were amused by the crazy coincidence. Ryan shrugged it off with no major reaction either positive or negative. So, a few months pass and one of the previously mentioned mutual friends and I are chatting about jealousy. In passing, I mentioned that I am clearly not a jealous person or else I would be bothered by Lila's presence at this workplace or in the friend group. She had recently started hanging out with our mutual friends here and there. It was at this time that my friend became uncomfortable and said, Yeah, OP, I actually brought that up with her recently and she was shocked. She said she and Ryan never dated, hooked up or even flirted. She was extremely confused about why anyone would think they were ever together. I turned bright red, laughed it off as a misunderstanding and changed the subject. I went home and confronted Ryan about this lie. I told him I knew he and Lila were never together and I wanted to know why on earth he would lie about something so silly. I told him how embarrassed I was to be told that information and that as his girlfriend I was offended to be the last to know something like that. Ryan was extremely embarrassed, he apologized profusely but told me he had no idea what possessed him to lie in the first place. I asked him why he continued the lie for 3 years and he told me it was because he was in too deep and couldn't come clean without a confrontation. Reddit, I am at a loss here. It has been 4 days since this fight and nothing has been resolved. He still has no answer for why he felt the need to lie to me. I don't know how to feel about that. It certainly makes me wonder what other past experiences of his are completely made up. It also makes me wonder what he will lie about in the future. And above all else, I still just want to know why. So here are my questions. 1. Is this breakup worthy? In the heat of it, I feel like it was. However, now that time has passed and I have calmed down, it is more of a long discussion rather than a breakup. 2. Can anyone come up with any possible reasons that he would have made that up? I ask and I ask and he has nothing to say. 
And three, how can I help him see how strange and hurtful this is? He's not grasping why I'm so hurt. I've explained it in 10 different ways, but it seems like he doesn't realize the implications of this major lie. Thank you all in advance for any help or insight. Well, OP, I'll start agreeing with you in that this is a stupid lie, but I'm not sure if it's breakup worthy. Yes, it's a lie, and of course, lying in a relationship is not a good thing, but he's not lying about something that could definitely derail any kind of future you guys have together. It's just a stupid lie, and I connect it with question number two. I think it's just insecurity. I've got no idea about either of your relationship backgrounds. You guys talked about it, and he had to make this one up. Could it be that he just had no background and felt embarrassed by it at 21? I mean, honestly, this is like the only explanation as to why would you invent a relationship from your past and things that you did and why you broke up and all that stuff to seem experienced in some way, I guess. Now, based on this same thing is why he kept up the lie. Insecurity. He just knew that when you found out, there would be trouble and he wanted to avoid that. He shouldn't have. And for question number three, maybe I wouldn't angle it from, well, this is ridiculous, why did you do this? More of a, this hurt me, this made me look like a fool, what you did put me in a bad situation. Maybe that approach makes him understand what a stupid F up this is. So to sum it up, OP, number one, I don't think it's breakup worthy, but it is definitely worth a very lengthy conversation. Two, reasons, I would say he was insecure and he just made it up on the spot. And three, angle it from how it hurt you. And what do you guys think about this situation? What would you do if you were in OP shoes? Let me know in the comment section. And now let's move on to the community comments to see what they said. Tim Riggins Panther says, My guess is he lied out of insecurity, almost in a way to impress you by acting like he had a girlfriend. And OP responds, I can definitely see that as he is such a shy guy who definitely lacked some confidence when we first met. However, now I'm having an issue with his view of me. I am not a judgmental person by any stretch of the imagination. I hate that he thinks of me as someone who would judge a person based on their sex or romantic history. Hi Ainisi says, sounds like he made up a dumb decision out of inexperience three years ago to beef up his resume and has had to double and triple down on it. There's no other real explanation, so you can stop searching for the meaning of it all. He was dumb, he made a mistake, he tried to write it out, he failed. Chef435 says, 1. For me, it's not breakup worthy and more of a long discussion thing. That's what I said. Maybe he's not had any serious relationships and maybe was still a virgin when he met you and was embarrassed by that. 2. See, number 2. It's a very dumb lie on his part. And 3. Outside of discussions, there really isn't much you can do if you've tried close to a dozen ways to talk to him about it. It's definitely a red flag that he went on with this lie for so long and isn't showing any remorse, but it could have been a heck of a lot worse thing to lie about. I wish I could be more help, just my thoughts. And OP responds, I'm inclined to agree with you. This seems like a lie rooted in insecurity, not malice or a wish to deceive me for any hurtful reason. It just seems so silly, because it is. In response to point number three, I didn't mean to make it sound like he is not remorseful. He is very apologetic and ashamed. I think it's more that he just doesn't get the big picture. He's focusing on the one lie and I'm focusing on the breakdown of trust. The other possible lies he's told me. That he would let me go around telling people Lila was his ex when she wasn't. Therefore, letting me be embarrassed, etc. Opie's edit. Forgot to mention that he was not a virgin when we got together. I know of at least two for a fact. One was a friend of a friend, confirmed by said friend. The other was a bartender at a bar we and our co-workers are regulars at. It was hot gossip at work for a while after they hooked up, lol. Alright, well the community mostly agrees that it's not breakup worthy, it is a red flag that he kept the lie going for so long and that he also dragged somebody else into this story that didn't deserve to be dragged into this. And OP kinda understands that but now she's fixated on the lying itself which is a good thing to have a conversation about. So now let's move on to the update to see what happened next and how the story ends but of course before that here's another one of my playlists for you to enjoy after this video. Now let's move on with the update. 
First off, I'd like to thank everyone who responded. You guys were more helpful than you know, and I felt so at ease and empowered going into our conversation. So thank you, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate your input. Smiley face. So we kind of ran the gamut from me completely overreacting and making something out of nothing, all the way to it being a total red flag, dump worthy offense. I and most of you felt somewhere in the middle. I know my boyfriend and I love him, so I went into the conversation hoping he would be receptive, open and good natured so I'd be able to stay. It was a success. So on to the update. I went home after work yesterday with all of your online voices in my head. I told him I was ready to have a real honest conversation with him about everything that had happened. Here's what we covered. 1. I said to him, I know I have asked you a hundred times, but now you've had a few days to think and I'd really like to know why you felt you needed to lie about Lila. I agreed with all of you that insecurity was definitely the reason, but as someone else said this too, I didn't want to walk in with a perfect explanation tied up in a little bow and hand it right to him. I wanted him to come to that conclusion on his own and be brave enough to vocalize it to me. It took a lot out of him, but he was eventually able to say that he was very insecure when we met because I was more experienced out of his league and intimidating. Knowing him now, he is very self-assured and confident, which is why the insecurity issue wasn't at the forefront of my mind until you all suggested it. However, it makes perfect sense when I think back to who he was then. Someone commented that they noticed it took a year for us to date and attributed that to him being too shy and insecure to make a move on me. Ding ding ding, that is exactly what he told me. Okay, I accept that as a reasonable, yet silly, reason to exaggerate a story. But that brings us to… Number 2. Why did he let it go so long? Even after I had met and started hanging out with Lila? Well, like most of you said, he was into deep and in panic mode. I guess he was just hoping it would never come up? Um, excuse me? I'm awkward as F and would absolutely have brought it up to her eventually. And 3. Lila. Some people helped me realize what my real issue was. It was Lila. I was bothered by the fact that he dragged this innocent girl into our relationship in such a way, made things up about her and her personality, and made things up about her sexual and romantic life. Ew, not cool. I insisted he or we apologize to her or that at least reach out in some way to gauge her feelings on the matter. When I said that, Ryan goes, Oh, I did that already. He handed me his phone and I read through a conversation they had together. Yesterday, as I was writing my last post, he got her number from our mutual friend and texted her saying, Hey Lila, it's Ryan. I just wanted to reach out and let you know that I'm really sorry if you heard about me saying things about you and me. I kind of misrepresented our friendship to OP when we got together because I didn't want her to know what a loser I was back in the day. You remember, lol. I feel really bad that it got back to you before I was able to tell OP the truth. And I don't want you to be freaked out, I was just being really stupid. Anyway, have a good day. She responded with something along the lines of, Oh, that makes sense. Okay, lol. I was so confused. Hope you're doing well. Smiley face. Many people wondered if Ryan was in love with Lila and was a bit of a stalker or weirdo with her. I did as well, but now I don't think so. It goes without saying that he was definitely into her, but she was genuinely confused by him saying these things about her, so I doubt she ever knew how he felt. This is clearly a dude who is not great at expressing his feelings to women he's interested in. He panicked during our initial conversation and his explanation for picking Lila was that she was real so she had believability, but far enough removed where I should never have met her. He also knew her well enough to be able to answer any follow up questions I had, which someone called. I'm satisfied that he is not a total creeper. So, due to this conversation and his apologetic nature, I have decided to stay with him and put this behind us. This is literally the only negative thing that has happened since I met him. 
The only real shifts in the relationship will be that I'll be wary of future information that has no real evidence. And I've also decided to back off a bit on our marriage talks. We were discussing an upcoming engagement, possibly. But I think we could push that back for a bit, not really due to this incident, but due to the fact that it has come to light that I'm his first relationship and we're still pretty young. I think a few more years dating and allowing for him to grow in a relationship could be a good idea. Smiley face. For those who reached out because they are in a similar situation, I encourage you to be honest. Had Ryan been the one to tell me about this, it could have been a total non-issue. If you are with someone who loves and respects you, they will work with you and forgive you, hopefully. So again, thank you all so much for helping me get my head together. You're the best. Alright, well this is definitely a happy update. You guys were able to talk about it, everything was put on the table and now you're in a better place with decisions taken. So thank you so much for sharing OP and here's wishing you all the best in the future. Take care. Now let's move on to the next post that like I said in the beginning also has an update. This post is from the subreddit relationships and it's by user a lot of numbers. Me, 23 female with my neighbors, 30s male and female, accidentally took and opened their package. I know this will sound really dumb, but I accidentally took and opened my neighbor's package. My apartment building is set up so that on the first floor of the apartments is where the mail section is located, and on the floor underneath the mailboxes all the packages are just strewn across. The UPS guys rarely actually take packages directly to the door, even though it's only a small two-story building. I do a lot of online shopping, especially from one store in particular, let's say Nordstrom, and I'm used to rummaging through packages to find my own. I was expecting a package to be delivered tomorrow, Thursday, so when I saw a package from Nordstrom today, I got really excited and thought it came early. I usually always check for my name, but it was printed really small on the package and I guess I wasn't thinking. I just grabbed it and took it back to my apartment. I opened it and saw baby clothes and honestly, my first thought wasn't even that I took the wrong package. I thought they sent me the wrong items, lol. Then I noticed the name was not mine on the package. Given that I've already opened the package, what's the best way to go about this? Should I just tape it back up and put it by the mailboxes? Should I leave a note? I don't know these neighbors well, but we have both have dogs so we do see each other occasionally and I don't want there to be any bad blood. Also, I should mention that they don't know me by name, but they know which unit I live in. Well OP, from what you tell us, it was an honest mistake. It, it happens, it's nothing wrong with it, there's no shame in it, so you should just grab the package as is. If you want to tape it up, sure, but just take it to them, knock on their door and say, hey, I was also expecting something from Nordstrom, I thought your package was mine and I opened it. I'm really sorry, I hope this isn't an inconvenience. By the way, those baby onesies are really cute. Hopefully they're sensible people will understand it was an honest mistake and won't make any fuzz about it. Now, in the worst case, they will make some sort of fuzz but other than that it's not like they're gonna send you to jail or kick you out of the apartment building or anything like that. OP, in my opinion it's important to be honest not just because it makes you like a good person but also because it allows you to respect yourself and that's really important. Anyways, what do you guys think about this whole situation? Let me know in the comment section and now let's move on to the community comments to see what they said. Rainy Reminder says, tape it up, put it by their door with a note that says, whoops, and read the name on the package next time. I had a neighbor do this recently except she took my package because her roommate has a friend with a similar first name, at least that was her excuse. I was pretty furious, especially because I had to chase her down and ask about the package two days after the tracking said it had been delivered. I'm still pissed at her, don't be like my horrible neighbor. Bickets says, I opened my neighbor's mail by mistake. I just dropped it off and told them I opened it by mistake. They smiled, said, no problem, have a nice day. That was the end of it. I'd leave a note saying, hey apartment 304, this is 401. I thought this was my package and opened it accidentally. Sorry about that. And Brewski says, my neighbor accidentally took and opened a package once. She left it outside my door with a short apologetic note. She shops a lot online, gets a lot of Amazon boxes, and her boyfriend picked up mine along with hers. Honest mistake, no harm, no foul. I think your plan is great. 
All right, well, the majority of the community agrees. Just go to the neighbors and give him the package back. There's no problem. However, personally, I don't agree with the anonymous route. I think there's no harm in showing your face because there really wasn't any wrongdoing. It wasn't purposeful. And to me, the anonymity kind of makes me think that you are ashamed of it. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Anyways, let's move on to the update to see how this story ends. Okay, so I know my situation was fairly tame compared to most of what's on here. However, I still wanted to update you to thank y'all who took the time to read my post and share the funny and awkward way it turned out. So the people whose package I accidentally took are a fairly young couple and seem sweet and fairly chill. And when I wrote the post, I only had the package for about 30 minutes. Apparently, the couple had seen online that their package should have been delivered, freaked out and called the landlord. He sent a mass text to everyone, which he has never done before, not even when someone literally almost died, saying, Anyone take Eleanor and Jacob's Nordstrom package? If so, please return it. Insert angry face emojis. LMAO, I started laughing so hard. I just feel like this is one of those things that always happens to me. I'm just an unlucky person. So at this point, I was nervous to knock on their door because I got scared of the confrontation and also didn't want to get caught leaving it at the door. So I waited until 4 a.m. like any sane person would, right? I really hope that's sarcasm. I taped it back up really nicely and just left it at the mailboxes and then legit had a nightmare about it where the neighbors were yelling at me. And this is my point. Honestly, this might scar me for life. Landlord sent an update this morning. Thanks to whoever returned Eleanor and Jacob's package. In the future, please do not steal packages. It is very rude. Luckily, there are no cameras in the building, although we should consider the fact that we're in a bustling area of the city, but I think I'm good in this front. Well, OP, I don't agree with the way you went about it, but at least I guess you kind of feel better, even though you have nightmares about it. Anyway, thanks for sharing, OP, and all the best in the future. Take care. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch it. Now, if you've gotten to this point in the video, I assume that you like these stories that I'm reading out. So here are a couple more that you might enjoy. And if you don't have any time to watch another story right now, save it for later. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.